Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. Of all movie opening scenes, which one sold the entire film? The opening robbery scene in the dark night. No, 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 I kill the bus driver. Bus driver. What bus driver? The Matrix opening with Trinity was filmed with the entire original budget to convince the studio that they weren't fucking around. I remember watching a YouTube video deconstruct that opening and explain why it's perfect. Example, when we first meet Trinity she's clearly a super badass, and then when you see later in that scene how scared she is of the agent following her that is how you properly set up a movie antagonist. Just rewatched that based on this comment. Well said. Your men are already dead. It took me a few rewatches to really get that line. It wasn't just the usual hyperbole you hear from characters in movies all the time. Since Smith was part of the Matrix, he actually knew that. They were, in fact, already dead. Lord of War The opening credits follow the life of a bullet. It's manufactured, quality checked, packed into a box and then shipped off to an African nation where it gets loaded into a gun and shot into the head of a child soldier. And then we meet the protagonist, Yui, N.I.C. Cage, standing on a floor of empty casings. Says there's 550 million firearms in the world, one for every twelfth person on the planet. Takes a drag on his cigarette and asks, how do we arm the other eleven? Asterisk edit misremembered the order of the scenes as a few people have pointed out. Yui's monologue about one gun for every twelfth person then the life of a bullet sequence. Also, thanks for the golds and silvers. I've always hated Nick Cage, but this movie is amazing. My HS ethics teacher showed it to our class and I loved it. Was pumped to see it was on Netflix. Edit, damn this blew up. My hate is definitely unjustified as I've only really seen him in Lord of War, Ghost Rider and Family Man. It looks like I have some Nicolas Cage movies to watch lol. Why the Cage hate though? National Treasure is great. Fantastic scene. Looks like we meet the protagonist before the life of a bullet scene, but equally effective either way, I think. I think the opening scene forward slash first chapter of Inglorious Basted sets up the villain, Hans Lader perfectly. Or if washa sha. Amazing how not shooting her made him seem so much more evil. I'm afraid I've reached the end of my French after he spoke perfect French for like 10 minutes. That was intended as they both obviously know he has people under the floor, who don't understand English. Interestingly it was a power move as well asserting his dominance by speaking a foreign language in his house, all while asking him if it's okay as if he'd say no as if he ever would dare. Saving Private Ryan I saw that right after visiting Omaha Beach. We stayed at a small bed and breakfast quite close to the beach owned by a 80-year-old French woman who told us stories about how it went down. Amazing experience. She said the worst was the smell. It smelled dead bodies years and years afterwards. Much of Asia stopped eating seafood for months after the tsunamis. Because they knew what those sea bugs had been eating. I had bought a ticket to go see Saving Private Ryan. I had no idea what I was about to watch as I had not seen any trailers nor do I watch TV. The auditorium was packed. There was only one seat available in the entire theater, front row and center. So the movie starts with an old man at Arlington National Cemetery and my brain tries to bow out, saying I had made a mistake and I should not stay to watch the film and then the screen changes. The next 20 minutes of my life were utterly insane. When the movie ended, I checked the time and realized well over two hours had passed and I had not noticed the passage of time. An amazing experience to be sure. My gramps was a WW2 vet and that scene had him trying to dive under the seat in front of him. He had nightmares for months. American Psycho I remember listening to him list out every single thing he does to groom himself in the morning and I thought what a psycho then thought oh ash hush I get it. El mayo I love the business card scene. Absolutely brilliant. Look at that subtle off-white coloring. The tasteful thickness of it. Oh my god, it even has a watermark. Jurassic Park. It really sets the tone for the movie and the foreshadowing gives you a creepy feeling leading up to the storm. shoo Terminator 2. Starting with scenes of bustling everyday life. Rush hour traffic, kids playing, etc. Then white flash to the same burnt-out playground in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. Sarah's summer voiceover explaining how it happened. 
we see a brutal battle between man and machine. Tanks and terminators crushing human bones under metal treads and feet. We briefly meet the steely face of the human resistance and savior of mankind right before segueing into the opening credits, finishing with an Edo skull grinning through the flames. Fuck yeah tell me that doesn't get you pumped right there even just reading it. The way the children's laughter slowly fades out before the white flash always gave me chills. Also, seeing the words Los Angeles pop up while looking at a completely irrecognizable apocalyptical landscape. Jaws. You never see the shark in the first attack. Just the knowledge that there's something under the water. Brilliant. Couldn't agree more. My father was a beach lifeguard when the movie originally came out. He has told me stories how people were legitimately afraid to go into the water after seeing the movie. Powerful stuff. My mom lived in Sydney when it came out. She wouldn't watch it because she wanted to keep going to the beach. She eventually did, after moving back to the Midwest. I mean, you don't see it for the first hour, no. The mechanical shark breaking down was the best thing that could have happened for Spielberg. Goodfellas. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. The entire film feels like the opening scene. What a film. My favorite. The music. Best film ever. Watch the scene where Henry and Karen go through the side entrance to the Copa. If you watch carefully you'll notice the trip through the kitchen was completely unnecessary. They just make a big circle and walk back out the same door. Scream has an incredible opening scene. Dot hang up or I'll gut you like a fish you understand. Absolutely iconic. I think people forget how shocking, scary, and honestly, heartbreaking that opening scene is. Scary movie and other parodies, not to mention the sequels, kind of turned the movie into a joke but the original holds up. I saw it when I was 16, in the theater. Drew was marketed as the star. How clever they were. Can't believe this is so low down. I think that to really appreciate it you have to be a child of the time because Drew Barrymore was the undisputed star of the movie and she gets offed in the first scene. I recently was talking to some friends about this and they, 20-somethings, were laughing that Drew got on the poster for her 12 minutes and how fucked up it was to the rest of the cast. I had to explain that is what was so shocking about the movie. When it was released, everyone thought she would be the star of the show and them bam, she's done. The thanks intro. What? Sorry I didn't hear you. Sorry. The BBB bar intro. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Are you suggesting coconuts migrate? Old woman. Man. Man, sorry. Who lives in that castle? I'm 37. What? I'm 37, I'm not old. Love that exchange. The whole conversation is derailed from the start. When Arthur crested the hill, and his manservant claps the coconut shells like horse hooves, it sets the tone for the whole movie. Rewatched it for the zillioth time the other night. I was like yes I love this scene at the beginning of every scene. That movie is almost too good. The Matrix. I thought Trinity was the villain. I thought Trinity was the villain. Rewatch the lobby, from the perspective of the guys running the scanner. Morphus and his team are referred to as terrorists early in the movie, and it makes sense. They just go into places, shoot the shit out of a bunch of innocent people and blow shit up. What else could you call them? Fellowship of the Ring. Set a great tone for all of what was to come. But there were some who resisted still gives me shivers. Amazing opening monologue. Shouting as the arrow flies by his ear. Pulp Fiction. I was 14 when I saw it and the opening scene just completely blew me away. Garko means boy. The flat tone of the actress when she delivers this line just cracks me up every time. Spaceballs. That ship going by for 5 minutes or more had me rolling and I never stopped laughing throughout that entire film. We break for nobody. Raiders of the Lost Ark, all the parts from opening to the point where ID runs and meets the escape air plat. Up. Surprised I had to scroll this far down. Sets up the movie perfectly and is so emotional that it carries with you until the end. Shaun of the Dead. This is a great one, because they almost begin and end on same sequence. Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl. 
The opening scene on the boat in the fog with the young Will and Elizabeth perfectly captures how hilarious, spooky, and kick-ass the rest of the movie is going to be. Also the first Lord of the Rings. So intense in on a massive scale only to be followed by the happy Shire scenes. Also the scene where we see Captain Jack Sparrow for the first time, on the sinking boat. Confidently stepping onto the dock just as the ship completely sinks, as if that was his plan all along. Such a perfect summary of his character in that one moment. 28 weeks later. Yes. Dawn of the Dead as well, both films let you know they aren't fucking around. Dawn of the Dead forever made me afraid of anything in the hall at night, no matter how small or seemingly innocent.